Hey guys, Stephen China here. Now in this video, I actually want to talk to you about some of the things that have really drastically improved my income over the last year and how this can help you in your business in 2015 onwards. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first thing sounds like a very simple one, but it's just something that so many people don't do and that's to take action. For the first few years, all I did was like constantly read up on what people were doing and taking the time to learn how to do things like uh, graphic design, basic coding and other stuff like SEO. Now, in my head, I knew what I wanted to achieve, but what I was really doing was lacking progress in achieving my goals. I was learning, but I wasn't really getting anything done and that's a huge setback. You want to be making results as soon as possible and learn as you progress. So listen, if you really want that success so that you can do whatever it is you're aiming for, just get it done. You have to break through that fear of commitment, you know, make that commitment to yourself and at the very least take that first step forward regardless of how small that step may be. You know, take action and don't hold yourself back. Okay, the next one is that you must find what you're good at and stick to it. It's so easy to fall off track, you know, and overwhelm yourself with too much information or information overload as it's mostly known for. You get emails like, this is it, this is going to be the one that's going to change your life or earn $50,000 overnight, you know, just ridiculous statements. But, you know, people fall for these and they're just constantly bouncing all over the place. They don't have a structure and if you know me, building a structure right out the gate is crucial. Once I found something that I was passionate about, and could see myself doing long term, I was able to move forward. You've got to love what you do. Believe in yourself and stay focused because the moment you get sidetracked, it goes downhill and you'll say, you know, ah, oh, this didn't work. And you'll just keep bouncing around like many other people are doing now and you won't get where you want to be. Now, you might be surprised about this one, but I'm telling you right now, email marketing is the biggest asset to any online marketer. For every person that comes to your site for every time you invest in paid traffic and even when you're talking to someone about your business you must find a way to get people on your email list everyone who comes to your website will leave and you know most probably will never come back and i can't tell you the amount of people who pay for traffic direct to an offer and it has no email capture form so everyone who comes to your website will leave and most likely will never come back I can't tell you the amount of people who pay for traffic, you know, direct to an offer or a page and it has no email capture form. So everyone who decides it's not for them, they're completely gone and you've basically left a ton of money on the table just because you have no way of following up with them. So listen, get the email as soon as possible, then focus on how you can help them after. The next one is to resend your emails to unopened subscribers and this is something that many people don't do and don't even know how to do it but I'm telling you now that this is so important especially if you want to get your message across which you know I can assure that we all do otherwise we wouldn't have bothered to create the email in the first place right so whatever your intentions are just ensure that you resend your email back out to the people who hadn't opened it the first time now, before I resend the email to those who hadn't opened the first time, I changed the subject line because I found that it would give you more opportunities of getting your subscribers' attention and it also helps you to figure out what subject lines work best. And I've also found that the second and, you know, the third emails which are almost identical to the first email get opened a lot more than the first email. So never settle for just one email because most of the time, not everyone is going to open it. Now, some of you might be wondering about suitable times to do that. And in general, I'd say between 12 to 24 hours is sufficient enough because you don't necessarily want to be stuffing your emails down people's throats. But at the same time, you just want to ensure that your message gets across within a suitable time frame. Okay, so now this probably is one of the biggest differences whilst doing this business. And without it, my revenue would not have increased and most likely to have gone down instead of up. And I'm telling you now, and I insist on you going back to this once this video is finished and writing this down, always test, track and adapt. Without tracking your actions in this business, it's very, very easy to lose a lot of money. And if you're not split testing things like your squeeze pages, call to actions, etc., then it's very easy to fall off track. And therefore, you always have to be keeping on top of things that you're doing. 
I spoke to someone uh, a few weeks back and he was spending a lot of money on solo ads, but his squeeze page was converting at 3%. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd never settle for 3%. You want to be at least aiming for 40 to 60%, if not more. And then you need to adapt to those changes. You know, if you ran a split test and one headline outperforms the other, then clearly you're going to adapt and start using the best headline, right? The more people that go through your funnel, the more chances of reaching out to more people and building your business. So think about this very carefully. Make testing, tracking and adapting a key priority if you're not already doing so. Okay, next, build a structured sales funnel. And I can't tell you enough how important this is. And for the majority of you, I'm always taking you through my structured sales funnel and teaching you how to put all this together and why it's going to help you build a solid long-term business. You've got to get to work and always improve your sales funnel. It's funny because a lot of people blame the traffic, but utilizing a better engagement with your subscribers through careful planning, targeting and remarketing this way, it's going to win you over compared to someone who you know, hasn't bothered to put in the time and who's just emailing daily to scrape for a sale here and there. You know, it's not good enough and you're doing yourself no favors. There are literally millions of people who fit your target audience by changing the way you connect and engage with your audience. And if you do with what I'm showing you, it's really going to make a lot of difference. All right, so the next thing is becoming a major game changer for me and that's by implementing high ticket or top tier products. And by doing so, you need less customers in order to make six and even seven figures. I know that some people who are currently working on seven figures now and they're not going to need thousands upon thousands of customers every single month to do it. You know, you can do it with a handful of people every single month and that's why high ticket, in my opinion, is the answer. And you want to think about this from a smart marketing perspective. High ticket products essentially give you that ability to scale fast. So I want to explain this to you and this has been the key for me to get where I'm at now. I didn't understand this when I first started and I was killing myself in traditional affiliate marketing. When you're promoting something at $27, for example, that means that you're only going to get a percentage of that. You're not even going to get the full $27. So let's say your commission is 50%. That means you can only spend, what, basically $13.50 in order to acquire that one customer to break even. Or let's just say that you're even getting paid the full $27. Now, that means that you can only spend $27 to acquire one customer compared to, let's say, you're promoting a product that gets a $1,000 commission for every sale that you make. Now, you can spend up to $1,000 to get one customer. So I really hope that you can see how much easier that is to scale your business. And for those of you who are taking the time to go through my sales funnel, you'll find everything that you need to know about high ticket affiliate products on day five. So you can go ahead into your email and search day five and that will show up. Or if you're new, then you can expect the email to come through anytime soon. Now, this is something that I see not a lot of marketers doing, but it's helped me greatly. And that's to ask your subscribers what they want. There's no point in putting out content if the people you're targeting are not gaining anything from it. You want to prioritize your content around your followers because the, the more you reach out to them and help them, the more authority you'll gain. And people look up to that in a way that they'll end up buying from you. Another reason for doing this is because it also helps you to get an idea of where your subscribers and followers are at. So let's say, for example, they're asking a very basic question about squeeze pages. You know, you should build your content around that and then start showing them why they need a sales funnel in place the types of products they could include and how to drive traffic. So listen to your subscribers, even if it's one person, because that one person could potentially be a customer for life. And understand that many people are looking towards an online business these days. Some people could, you know, they could have just sold their company, sold their house, and you know, they've got money to invest. Treat everyone equally and deliver the help they're looking for to maximize the results you want. Okay, the next one is to incorporate residual or recurring commissions. You need to find a way to incorporate these because it's just going to make life so much easier. Most traditional affiliate marketing methods is often a one-time commission. Then the next month, you're having to make those sales again. And it's a lot of work. And to be honest, the more residual or recurring commissions you can make, that will eventually grow and automatically take care of your bills, cover the basics of your business and even monthly spend on traffic. 
find a way to incorporate it because it's really going to help you with without having to worry month after month. All right, hear me out on this one. Whatever you're going through, you've got to consistently keep your head up high. Be confident and keep a positive attitude, whether it's for your followers, your business or your final outcome. You've got to take everything you receive in life as a blessing. No matter how many mistakes you make, we all learn from them. We become a better person and we push ourselves to make the next move a better one. You've got to apply the right mindset. And I'm telling you now, learning the ability to turn negatives into positives will cause you going from having a mediocre online business to closing deals for tens of thousands of dollars. Now, regardless of your experience, believe in everything you're talking about. People are attracted to positive people, so show that confidence because your message becomes more believable and overall you'll make a lot more sales or objections that you're aiming for. Okay, we're coming close to ending this, but this is about holding it together. You've got to be patient and accept that before making every commitment in this business. It is a lot of work, but if you do things the right way and stop bouncing around to the next big thing, you'll get what you want. You have to focus and know that this is important. By sticking to what I'm teaching you or committing to a business opportunity, you've got to at least see it through to the end. You might burn out at times, but you've got to be willing to put in the work. If you want that better life for your family or build a long-term stable business, you know, don't be afraid to ask, just ensure that you get things done. Some people get things done faster, usually because they have more time on their hands, but I'm telling you, you could easily be more successful if you really want it. Just remember that you'll be steps ahead of those who you know, are happily wasting time, yet still complain why nothing is working for them. So be patient, and focus on getting things done. And finally, really care. I mean, really care about showing your subscribers and followers that you actually care about helping them. And this was a major game changer for me and you'll learn a lot from this. It's difficult enough as it is to make a sale in this industry because it's often associated with, can I trust this person? So listen, don't create a sense of fear by hiding behind the email all the time. Don't use a fake name and put on an act of being someone that you're not. You know, if you want to take your business seriously, then you need to be serious with them. Connect with them on Facebook and call them on Skype. Once you build authority, trust will come naturally and trust will build a loyal following who will buy from you. And it can be nerve wracking at times to begin with, but you'll find that people honestly appreciate the time you take to spend with them. And it's going to do you a lot of favors in the long run. So really make the effort to care. Take out the mentality that this is about you and start thinking about them and then you'll see a huge difference. Now, whether you have very little experience or a lot, I'm interested to know what has helped you. What changes have you made in your business that you feel has increased your revenue? And don't feel shy to comment. Some people make notes from other comments and apply it to their own life or their business. So give some insight and someone else may also give you something back. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Other than that, I would appreciate if you could share this video around. It's definitely going to be an eye opener to people you may know. This is Steve from stephenchina.com and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks guys.